What's going on guys? So real quick update. I pretty much immediately after I filmed that last video, I hopped on a computer. I booked a ticket for San Diego, California, and I just flew down here. And I've been down here for the last couple days. Being down here, just being with Mimi, being able to train and just hang out in beautiful weather, it's just been so helpful just with the situation, everything that's going on. And I'm just in a really just good place. I'm happy, I'm hopeful for the future, I'm optimistic, I'm just feeling good, and I really think this is gonna be the best case scenario, even though it's kind of like, uh, it's hidden. It doesn't seem like it's a good thing to go back to St. Louis and have to talk to my doctor, but I really think it's gonna be good. The support from Mimi, the support from her family, the support from my family, the support from my friends, and very importantly, the support from you guys. It just always blows me away every single time I'm in a tough situation. And I cannot thank you guys or any of my actual people who I see in real life enough because it really is helpful to keep motivating me to just keep pushing on. Let's go to the gym. Did I check it right here? No, the next, next one. one. Okay, Casey, nice at camera switch in three. Two, one. There we go. Let's do it. So in terms of what I'm doing at the gym and like out of the field, really nothing changes. I just want to continue keeping fit and active and sharp and technical and everything so that whatever happens, I'm not losing as much. And if I do, you know, worst case scenario and I need to be out for a little bit longer and take a longer break, then I won't add extra weeks of that lazy time period. It's just kind of like if I sit around for two weeks now and do nothing and then I need to sit out for another eight whatever weeks, it's not going to be ten weeks. It will still just be that eight weeks. So that's kind of like what I'm doing. Anyway, for breakfast, uh, Mimi's dad made some oatmeal. So we're gonna have some oatmeal. Uh, got some eggs that are already cooking and then some avocado toast. And then also I gotta show you Mimi's new cabinets in her house. Mimi, you designed all these, right? Mm -hmm. Mimi designed these and then her and her dad were kinda like building them. I built, I didn't build, I helped probably make worse this cabinet a little bit. I'll throw in the clip right now of me messing up on this cabinet. It's on Mimi's channel. She is like has a channel about interior design and everything. Your turn. Right. Shelly's first cabinet. <laughs> How are you feeling in this moment? I'm confident. <laughs> yeah, no one be in the line of fire. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> you make me yep. so nervous. I make myself nervous. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you can do it. You got this. There, you, there go. we go. How is it? Not very good. 
I've also been using this injury to kind of like devote time to creating this footballer's physique program. It's just been like a really good tool to help my mind focus on something else besides my injury. But I also hate it when vlogs just turn into like a promotion all for their stuff. So I'm just gonna do this real quick, like 30 seconds max, and then we'll go into the rest of the vlog. Title page, become elite. Disclaimer, introduction, priorities, transition, early story, teenage years, 20s, common misconceptions, weightlifting stunts growth, low reps and heavy weight leads to bulkiness, weightlifting makes you slower and less agile, starting to go into diet, general diet information, diet basics, and then the beginning of constructing a diet plan. So that's what I have, it's been fun to work on that, but anyway, I'm gonna take Mimi to her job real quick, and then uh, I'm gonna get a little training session in. Business, Mimi. I think I might have to do two trips real quick. What? That's good for today. So I was out here for just over an hour, about 45 minutes of training and then 15 minutes of stretching and foam rolling. Um, now I'm gonna go back and just kind of work. So let's do it. Okay, so now for lunch, I'm just gonna make a, like a big smoothie, just jam packed with a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, battery is running dangerously low, so we'll see if it, if it holds out. I just realized, I was like, wow, it's really runny. And then I realized I forgot to add any protein to it. So, attempt number two. 
It's 1.30 in the afternoon right now, so for the next four hours until Mimi's done with work, I'm just gonna work. I have to do, edit this video all up. I need to do my Elite Challenge program that I sent out for February to all my members. I need to finish that program up, get that sent off because it's the end of January right now. And then I just need to do some general emails, customer service stuff, so I'll be pretty much just working for the next three, four hours, and then um, dinner. Smoothie's bomb though. Another day, another dollar. Yeah, yeah. So when I got back, I was super hungry and I ate half the dinner without showing you guys. And I know it's terrible, but I'll show you my dinner. But what I had was two tuna fish sandwiches and a banana. And then I'm also having some more avocado toast right now with Mimi. But that's it. It is now like seven o'clock at night. So we, Mimi has a little bit of work to do for her stuff. So I'm gonna finish up this vlog, edit the thumbnail, do all that stuff so it's up by tomorrow. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, and the la I haven't been talking about it, but if you guys do like the videos, if you're liking everything, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Helps me out a lot. It takes like two seconds out of your day just to go click, just like that, just click. <laughs> but it honestly helps the channel and helps me a lot. And I really appreciate it. Peace.